Did you know that Dun & Bradstreet is the biggest credit reporting agency in the world? Well, in this training, we're going to decode everything you need to know about Dun & Bradstreet, who they are, how they can actually help you. We're going to talk about your credit profiles, your credit scores with them, and the things you need to do to quickly build business credit with Dun & Bradstreet to have a credible business and to make it easier to get credit and financing. As a matter of fact, at the end of this training, I'm going to get you access to our business credit building guide that's been downloaded over a million times that will map out the exact steps for you to be successful building your business credit. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. So Dun & Bradstreet is the largest business credit reporting agency in the world by far. As a matter of fact, when it comes to other business credit reporting agencies, they're 10 times bigger than the next closest competitor they have, which is Experian. So Experian has about 23 million records on file of business owners. Dun & Bradstreet has 230 million records on file. It just goes to show the behemoth that Dun & Bradstreet is. But they're also the oldest and biggest credit reporting agency in general. A lot of people are new or think the concept of business credit is new, but business credit's been around way before consumer credit. Dun & Bradstreet is the largest credit reporting agency and the biggest in the consumer and in the commercial space. As a matter of fact, a little bit of history, as crazy as this is, five U.S. presidents have worked with Dun & Bradstreet in their history. I don't know of any other company that's had five U.S. presidents work for them, but it goes to show the reputation that DMB has, how long they've been around, um, and the credibility they have in the credit reporting space. So being that Dun & Bradstreet is a credit reporting agency, their entire job is to gather data and sell it. We sometimes forget that that's what credit reporting agencies do, but that's exactly what DMB does. So there's a lot of uses that people have with Dun & Bradstreet. First of all, a lot of people use Dun & Bradstreet for marketing. Dun & Bradstreet has many products where you can actually use their information. They've compiled these 230 million business records, and then you can be able to segment them in a way that you can actually market them or drive sales. So a lot of people are getting lists from Dun & Bradstreet whether they're going to call on these lists, mail these lists, market to these lists, but they're using DMB and DMB's data to tap in and be able to market to potential business owners or business owners in general. A lot of other people are using John and Bradstreet to assess risk. So lenders, credit issuers, even suppliers are using DMB data to actually look at you, your business, uh, and anybody that wants to get money to see how likely they are to actually repay. John and Bradstreet has a handful of scores we'll talk about later, and in their handful of scores and their credit reports, this gives lenders and credit issuers, for example, a really good gauge of the risk of a potential borrower. So the lender and credit issuer can determine if they should give an approval to that potential borrower, how much they should get, and the rates and terms they should pay. Those three factors are primarily based on the quality of Dun & Bradstreet credit reports um, and Dun & Bradstreet credit scores. And a lot of lenders and credit issuers, whether it be credit card issuers or big banks, are using Dun & Bradstreet data to be able to determine if they should lend and how much they should lend and the rates and terms to be able to lend to somebody. As a matter of fact, this is also calculated into FICO SBSS score. So the FICO small business score is used to qualify for SBA loans. It takes into account personal and commercial credit reports, and a lot of lenders choose to have Dun & Bradstreet as the primary driver of FICO SBSS. The lender actually chooses what credit reporting agencies in order they want to have more weight in the overall score. Most of them choose DMB's data first. So very important to know who Dun & Bradstreet is because they're the one that's selling your information to all of these different sources. And I just named some of the many that are going to use DMB data to make all kinds of decisions about you, even to be able to solicit and market to you as well. So how do you get set up with Dun & Bradstreet? Well, the very first thing you want to do is see if they even know your business exists or not. And you can do that at a quick link we set up at creditsuite.com forward slash reports. If you go to creditsuite.com forward slash reports, you can click on Dun & Bradstreet. You can do a free, simple search to see if they know your business exists. Now, if they don't know you exist, then you probably don't have a Dun's number with them. And you need to get a Dun's number. That's the next step of getting set up with Dun & Bradstreet. Now, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash Dun's. That's D-U-N-S. Creditsuite.com forward slash Dun's gives you a quick link to go through a 10 to 15 minute process with Dun & Bradstreet to set up your Dun's number. You've got to have a Dun's number to get any kind of credit report established with Dun & Bradstreet. Now, once you have the Dun's number set up, you've got to then start getting credit with 
credit issuers that report to Dun & Bradstreet. Now, before this, you want to take a step of setting up your fundability. I'm not going to cover this in this training, but if you go to youtube.com forward slash credit suite and look at fundability or just search fundability on YouTube, you'll find plenty of training we give you on setting up your business credibly or fundable where it is gets you access to credit financing. And it's really the first step with building your business credit. Once your business is set up where it's fundable, then you want to start getting credit that reports to Dun & Bradstreet. So places like, for example, Uline, you will give you credit even when you have none. They report to credit to Dun & Bradstreet. So by getting credit with them, using the credit, paying the bill on time, that'll help you establish an initial credit report and score for Dun & Bradstreet. Now, you need three accounts reporting the Dun & Bradstreet and your Dun's number for them to ever create a credit profile for you. A lot of people ask, hey, why is it DMB giving me a credit profile? Well, because you don't have those two criteria. You have to have a Dun's and three accounts reporting to them. If you don't have both of those, you're never going to see a credit profile with Dun & Bradstreet. So you got to get that Dun's number. You got to focus on getting at least three accounts that report to Dun & Bradstreet. That will then populate your business credit report with DMB. Now, there's a lot of things you're going to find on this credit report with Dun & Bradstreet, first of which is your business information, your name, your address, uh, your phone number. You'll even find your NAICS, your industry code uh, of the industry that you're in or the industry they think you're in. You've got to make sure that you know your own industry code so you know that NAICS that they're reporting on their credit report is correct. If you've given any financial data like tax returns to Dun & Bradstreet, you can see revenues, you can see profit. You can also see the number of employees that get that information from the Secretary of State. You're going to see multiple credit scores with which we'll talk about here in a couple minutes. You're going to see summary information of how you pay your bills, how late you are currently, how many accounts are you behind on, your DBT or what's called days beyond terms. On average, how are you paying your bills? How Are you paying them on time? Are you paying them five or 30 or 60 days beyond terms or late? So a summary of all that information is there as well. Your trade experiences or your payment experiences, the accounts that report to DMB, each one of those is listed. Now, DMB is not going to tell you the credit issuer. So they might show you office supplies for Staples, but they're not going to actually say Staples on the business credit report. So something to think about there. They're also going to show the recent amount of credit you've used, not your credit limit, something different than consumer credit reports. So using credit that actually reports to DMV is very important because the amount of credit you've recently used is on your credit report uh, over and beyond where you're, you're used to seeing an actual credit limit. Inquiries on your credit report as well, public records, judgments, lawsuits, tax liens, UCC filings that a bank will put on your credit report just to notify other lenders that you have outstanding loans with them. All of those things are what you can actually expect to find on your DMB credit report. You can also expect to find upwards of five credit scores on your DMB credit report. Now, DMB has two different categories of credit scores. Ones they call performance scores, which are strictly based on how you've performed in the past. And there's other scores that have to do with predictive scores that predict what may happen in the future. Some of some examples here is the most popular credit score in the business world is called the DMB Paydex score. And this just takes payment experiences or account data that's reported to DMB, and it just looks on average of how you pay those accounts. And then it gives you a, a number that's a mathematical representation of how you pay those accounts. So for example, zero is the worst score, 100 is the best score you can get. Okay, the lowest risk score, the score you want's 100. So if you pay your bills on time, if they look at all the bills that report to DMB on average, they see that you pay them on time, well, you'll have an 80 score. You could have a 90, a 95, 100 score, depending on how early you pay your bills. But if you pay your bills 30 days late on average, well, then you'd have a 70 DMB paid X score. You could have even a lower score if you're paying your bills 45, 60, 90 days on average late. So that paid X score just literally reflects how you pay your bills. DMB also has another performance-based score, which is called their DMB rating. Now, this takes into account the payment experience data that we just talked about. And it also takes into account other information, like inquiries, like the actual industry you're in, the number of employees, you have any financial data like tax returns they have that is then oftentimes calculated into DMB's rating especially your financial data then they have predictive scores which are very similar it just takes into account these other factors that we talked about uh, the in inquiries that you have the industry that you're in how many employees you have those carry more weight into these predictive scores and they have scores like a delinquency to predictor which predicts your likelihood of going delinquent in the future they have a financial 
risk score, which depend, de depicts your risk of actually going bankrupt, closing doors, ceasing operations, shutting down your business. They even have a SIR rating or a supplier evaluation rating. It's being used to actually evaluate suppliers as well. So again, there's three other scores in those predictive uh, category that you can see on your DMB credit reports. Now, the good thing is, is these credit reports will give you the range of the score. They tell you the score and they give you a really brief description on the report of what the score actually means and what it stands for, even things you could do to improve the score. So just by getting your DMB credit reports will give you a lot of that information, which by the way, how do you get those? Well, if you want the cheapest way to get them, you can go to creditsuite.com forward slash monitoring at creditsuite.com forward slash monitoring. It's only 24 bucks to get credit reports with DMB, Equifax, and Experian. It's $250 from the bureaus. It's only 24 bucks at creditsuite.com forward slash monitoring. That'll give you access to some of the scores and the data that's on your DB and credit reports. So make sure that you check that out. Make sure you monitor your DMB credit reports and make sure you dispute with them any inaccurate information that should be removed. DMB has a way to do this through their dashboard. The DMB dashboard is a free way that you can dispute any information that's inaccurate on your DMB report to get it updated. If you want to build your business credit with Dun & Bradstreet, make sure you grab our free guide, creditsuite.com forward slash EIN. That's creditsuite.com forward slash EIN. This thing's been downloaded over a million times. So it is a very popular guide that maps out the exact steps to build business credit with Equifax, with Experian, with Dun & Bradstreet, even gives you vendors that report to Dun & Bradstreet so you can actually get vendors to start building that initial credit profile and score. And if you want to get your credit reports for free with DMB, then give us a call. On a free consultation, we'll do a fundability assessment to help you fix your fundability and improve it to have a better chance of getting approved for credit financing. We'll get your business credit reports with Dun & Bradstreet, Equifax, Experian, Commercial at no cost, no cost. Saves you 250 bucks. We'll go over those with you, give you tips and tactics to build your business credit with all three reporting agencies, of course, including DMB. And we'll do a funding assessment. We'll tell you all the loans and credit lines, the funding you can qualify for right now. A lot of business owners can get money, don't think they can. We're gonna tell you all the funding you can qualify for now on that consultation call. To get your free consultation, give us a call at 877-600-2487. Seven. That's 877-600-2487. Email info at creditsuite.com or you can register at creditsuite.com forward slash consult and you can schedule yourself there. Did you get value from this training? If so, make sure you like and subscribe and keep your eye out for our next training where we talk about more cool ways to get money to start and grow your business.